year, Friday morning. And, you know, we just got to say one time for all of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. It's a Freestyle Friday here on the People's Show, man. Hey, if y'all know what this is from, man, if y'all used to watch the two, two live stews or listen to the two live stews on uh, 790 The Zone, man, those are my guys, man. That's really who I pat on my show after the whole People's Show and all that. Actually, them and V103 and stuff like that. But anyway, man, they always used to have polls and stuff like that every day. So, you know, that I love them guys, man. Hey, Godspeed to both of them guys, Ryan and... um. Ryan and, uh, oh my God, what was his brother They Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, the two live stews coming to you live. But anyway, check it out, man. Our poll today. Y'all ask for more chocolate. We going as chocolate as we can get without going, without going to the, uh, really? This is chocolate? No, you're not even close. But chocolate, we do have, and here we are. Lapita Nyong'o or Tika Sumter. I said Lupita Nyong'o or Tika Sumter. Y'all let me know who y'all got down in the comments, man. Hey, check it out, man. Yeah, hey, Lupita Nyong'o or Tika Sumter. I'm gonna go with Lupita because I said Lupita Nyong'o. Tika look like she'll curse you out. She'll like she'll or Tika Sumter. Attitude. Tika might. Uh, hey, look, look. Tika Sumter may have a bad attitude. She might curse you out. She might do all of that stuff, man. But hey. I don't know, man. Ever since I saw us, it's hard for me to unsee Lupita as... I mean, I'm going with Lupita. I'm just saying, I mean, I've been, I've, I've been in love with Lupita for a little while now. But the thing is, it's hard for... If, after, after, if, ever since us, it's been hard for me to, to, to unsee her as the lady from us, man. It just has. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Check it out, man. Uh, a lot to talk about, a little bit of time to talk about it in. Hey, we're just going straight here right now. And um, what I wanted to talk to y'all about is... Hey, my guy, my guy, Mr. Zone 360 Gaming, uh, a.k.a. Ghost Rider 36336, he hit me up, man, and he said, my guy, he said, hey, my guy, have you noticed that after the whole thing, you know, um, Gatorade does not save across players? Well, sir, I hadn't noticed that. Because uh, even though I do have a couple of players, hold on one second, I gotta, I gotta mute some stuff right here. Even though I have a couple of players, I myself had not noticed that. So, as you can see right now, I have no Gatorade. I'm gonna restock. Boom. We're gonna go ahead and restock Gatorade. I played a long session with T Mizzle last night, and playing that long session with him, it depleted all of my Gatorade. So right now I should have, what, 40 Gatorades? Let's go, skill boost, boom. All right, I got 40 Gatorades. I started out with like 40 or 50 last night. I think we went 40, 40 and three or something like that last night. We only lost like three games, man. And let me tell y'all why we lost those games. I kept getting hung on screens. Bro, if you're trying to avoid screens, off-ball pest is not the move, my guy. Do not, uh-uh. Off-ball pest is just its just not the move. If you're trying to avoid screens, because what it will do is, I, I think I had it on silver last night, because, you know, it says it keeps you from getting your ankles broke. If you got points in off-ball pest, take those points away and put those points in, um, uh, I'm going to show you all my bad setup real quick, because this bad setup is the dopest one I've seen. If you got points in off-ball pest, just take those points out of off-ball pest, put those points in, in uh, lightning reflexes, and I know, I know people are like, lightning reflexes, bro, are you serious? Bro, it really, really works. But I, I I had on Interceptor, I had on Pickpocket, I had on all that stuff last night. This badge configuration right here as a lockdown gave me more steals, more I mean, tighter defense, more steals, and all that. And I know y'all think I'm capping, but uh, I had it on gold. I had it like this for a while, right? This was like the perfect setup. Now what I'm going to test out is this. But I'm telling you, if you have, if you've got this badge combination you, and you got a, you can take intercept and pickpocket off because when you hit the, when you hit the button to reach, he's going to reach at the right time, all that stuff. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So we did all that just to show, uh, I don't know why they would do this other than to get you to spend more VC, but look, all right, here's my character right here. Here's my, 
This is my one character. We got my skill boost here. We're going to load out and we're going to come back in. And even though we know that everything in this game is about them making you spend more and more VC, this is something that I actually don't like because being able to, okay, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, right? Because sometimes it would make me mad because I would buy all my boosts for all my categories and do everything and get my Gatorade and get this one player right here, right? My my shooting, my 3 and D guard. I would get him right. And then I might try to go grind on my other player. And when I would go here to grind on my center, I didn't need all those shooting badges. I'm like, bro, I'm, it's just a waste. So in some regards, it does, it is, it, it is a waste and it does make you mad. But at the same time, I feel like if they're going to do this, it was one way and we got used to it being one way. Why switch it up now? There's no reason to switch this up because it was just nice to have one guy. If you had, if you had one, uh, uh, I, and I guess maybe they're doing it because of boot camp, so you can't just have everything unlimited across all your players. But wasn't that nice to be able to do that? I just don't understand. Like, like now the rep race is over, all that good stuff. Now, now, and, and we're gonna segue into this, but we're gonna check this out first. I'm gonna tell y'all my my conspiracy theory. All right, so your Gatorade does not go across all players anymore, but your boosts do go across players. So if you have unlimited boost, the boost will go across players, but your Gatorade will not go across all players. I can dig that, that's fine. So you got VC that goes across to all players. Let's go to the animation store. You got VC that goes across all players and you have, um, and you got your your actual skill boost that go across all players. What did it say? 188,504, I think they said. 188,504. That's cool. I mean, I guess I can deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. But I, I guess that's fine. Yeah, 188,514. Um, but 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 I, I don't understand why they would do that with the Gatorade. I can see it more with the skill boost than anything because you know it'll be like if you win boot camp, they don't want you to have the they don't want you to share that reward across all characters. But at the same time, it's like, hmm. But what what's the big deal with Gatorade then? Why don't they want you to have the unlimited Gatorade across all your characters? I can't even see see that. But hey, y'all let me know in down in the comments why y'all think that might be why you might have one but not the other one. Anyway. The second thing is endorsement checks not working. Y'all see, I got my come up outfit out here and, and I wanted to draw some more light to this because I can't be the only one for whom endorsement checks are not working. Check this out. I had 188.514 before I went in. I come out, I got 188.514, my guy. What was going on? What's the point of even going there and picking up, a, and picking up my endorsement check if nothing is gonna happen. I mean, that's all we got for y'all today as far as as far as the actual game uh, goes, as far as actual gameplay goes. But that's just weird, man. Why is it that my that endorsement checks aren't working? Like you're doing the endorsements. Are they giving you the endorsements? Like, are you getting that money after you go? What's the point of even having endorsement checks if they're not working? I know they used to work. I'm like 99% sure that in the beginning of the season, at the beginning of the year, I was getting money from my endorsement checks when I went into that office. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, and now all of a sudden y'all see that 188.514 when I went in, 188.514 when I came out. It's it, There's nothing there. But it, it, it it's just one of those things where I'm just like, like what, what, are we, what are we meant to do? Like, there's just so many things that are broken with the game, and they continue to be broken, man, like that. Like I said, if y'all y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but... uh. What's the point of even having that endorsement check? You go in there and it ain't nothing there. If you go in there again, then he gonna tell you, scoot, 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 shoot and boot. Like, it, it, I, I don't get it, man. I do understand why they don't give you your money like that, like they used to, because with the endorsement check glitching all that stuff last year, again, that would have been a legacy issue. They are going to fix things like that first. They're not gonna let you have unlimited money like they did at the beginning of 2K, 2K19. Uh, Just think about it. I, th I want to say at this time in 2K19, that glitch was still alive two or three months into the game. I don't think they fixed that until maybe two months into the game or something like that because I don't either people didn't know about it or people didn't put it out there like that. But that endorsement glitch la lasted all year. Like they, you, 
they had it in the beginning of the game. And then two um two months later they patched it, but they patched it in the current iteration. And then Bash Plug put out a way that you could just go around. I ain't had time for all this stuff, man. I just was like, look, I ain't got but a couple of characters anyway. I'm just gonna buy the stuff anyway. But hey, if you did it, Godspeed to you. I ain't got no problem with it. But anyway, like I said, so if one thing I think about though, if they're not gonna let us have Gatorade across all characters, can we get two spins on the wheel? Can I? I would say let's get a spin on the wheel per character but you share so much other stuff with your characters as you can saw as you saw like my little my come up outfit or whatever oh, I, ain't, I ain't on that no more i had my little come up outfit right uh my come up outfit it was it was on um, all my characters but you share so much stuff why not allow us to share gatorade and maybe that's because gym rat maybe there was something that was glitching out gym rat maybe that was maybe that's something that was making it glitch out and but i never saw gym rat glitch out because if you didn't have it on all your players um it's not gonna be on all your players conversely if you get to to the uh rep reward where you get gym rat it's gonna be on all the players so i just don't understand that your skill boost they are on they do go but your gatorade doesn't that's that's just weird to me and last but not least man somebody wanted me to talk about this man they wanted me to talk about the fact that they had a conspiracy theory or what have you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make it real plain and simple for you. Um, somebody said, why did they wait until 2K League qualifying was over in order to fix the demigods? Well, I'll tell you, my good sir, they had no intention of fixing the demigods this early. All right, so. Y'all know how two or three weeks ago we had the patch notes, patch 1.07, and it fixed a lot of things. It fixed a lot of stuff like blue screen and, and all this stuff, um, and, and just and just little things like that, little upkeep. And then we was like, bro, what, what happened? Why why don't we have demigods being patched, right? And then what happened is when this patch came after the combine was, I mean, after that part was over, qualifying was over. Now, now we have it. Well, my good sir. The answer to that question is simply this. These were planned patches along the way. And if these patches had not been planned, this stuff may not have been fixed. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago when they fixed the blue screens and stuff, that was the patch to put in the My Player Nation as well as the, comp the Combine Qualifying. That was the patch for that. Because they already had that scheduled patch, they were able to slide in a couple of more things with it. They're like, we're already gonna be submitting the patch on this day anyway. Regardless of what happened, the game could have been perfect, they still would have submitted that patch on that day. So don't think 2K is doing this stuff because the community is putting pressure on them and they care about us, because they're not. They're doing it at their convenience. So what they decided to do is, hey, we're gonna put the My Play of Nation stuff in there, we'll slide the rest of this stuff in there, we're gonna slide a couple more things in there, fix these things, and then, boom, we'll be done, and everything will be gravy. They didn't, they didn't even know about the Demigod glitch. They learned about the Demigod glitch a little bit too close to it. And because of that, it had to go until they were able to submit another patch. But they already had another patch scheduled for how, how long was that, that process? A month or two or three weeks? So they were like, okay. Well, basically, they was like, F them. They, they're going to get another patch in a couple more weeks anyway. What, they ain't worth our time. They're not worth our patch. This is me talking. This is just me thinking. They not worth. They not worth us putting out another patch in between. Then, the hell with their game and experience. The hell with all that stuff that they talking about. Let them have a miserable game and experience until this is over. We're going to put out another patch in a month anyway. We're not going to put out patches back to back to back to back to back. Even though you're going to have to now because you know the animation stuff is broken. But maybe they won't do that because maybe the, maybe the next patch. You can probably mark my words. The next patch that we're going to get is going to be combine opening everybody to figure out how to fix their animations so they're probably not gonna put out another patch if they put out another patch man what do y'all think are they gonna put out another patch prior to the combine the opening of the combine right, let's 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 check when this when it starts uh nba 2k 20 league combine uh start date let's see when the, let's see when the combine begins man all right it says uh, NBA 2K League. Nah, we we need we need a 2K League for for this year. Uh, 2K League. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do none of that right now. Qualifier. All right. PS4. Let's see when the qualifier. 
Uh, let's see. Let's see when it's gonna happen. The little combine. I don't even know when the combine is, but I guarantee we won't get we won't get another patch until the combine starts. These patches that they've been doing as of late, they have a couple of scheduled patches along the way, and because they have them spaced out accordingly, they're not gonna interject and just put another one in there. Somebody let me know down in the comments when the combine starts, but I guarantee we won't get a patch before that, especially not to, to unless something catastrophic happens and, and a VC glitch is found that actually works, Bro, they're not going to do nothing. I can promise you that. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. So it wasn't that they waited until it was over so that people could use the demigod glitch. It was more that they weren't going to they weren't going to interject with another patch. When they found out about the demigod glitch, they had already submitted the notes and everything, the, the, the many, many more. They had already put on a piece of paper and many, many more to, um, to PlayStation and, and Xbox. And they had already submitted that. Uh, by the time they found out about the demigod glitch so that first patch that we got it was just patch 1.07 just to make alive uh my player nation and to make alive the uh the the, the wreck qualifier part and then now they they dropped this patch to, to to kill that so they took that out of the game they took the wreck qualifier out of the game this was already a scheduled patch so they were going to take the wreck qualifier out of the game that's done now they've collected that data and then the rest of it bro they're not about to you know, everything else was just a byproduct. They just were able to fix the demigod. Like I said, otherwise they actually cared about the consumer like they claimed that they do. They would have interjected and said, this is something that is potentially game breaking and it is completely ruining the community. But now nah, they just said, hey, look, we're gonna, um, we gonna worry about our pockets. I think it's like $50,000 per patch or something like that's a drop in the damn bucket for y'all, man. Y'all gotta get it together, 2K. Y'all are really out of touch with the fans. If I'm completely wrong with this stuff, man, y'all let me know. But I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, this is just conspiracy easy thinking right here, man. I ain't conspiracy brute. I ain't that deep. But I, I just really think that these were patches that was already scheduled along the way. And if something happens in between the patches or after they do the last patch, as we've always seen, tough titty. It just is what it is. We already know by this schedule, we get this patch. We'll probably get one uh, at the end of January, and then we may get one, a throwaway patch in March when the game is already shot to hell like they always do and be like, hey, you know, and then, eh, whatever, man. I got to get up out of here, man. I done made myself disgusted, man. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about that. Do y'all agree with my uh, agree with my thing? This was just a patch to remove. This, this was an already set up patch to remove the wreck qualifier and that all the demigod stuff. We're just lucky that they caught the demigod in between this because what if they put the demigod glitch out right now? Who knows when it will be before we had another one. Anyway, let me know down in the comments, man. Lapita Nyong'o or Tika Sumter. One more time, Lapita Nyong'o. Or Tika Sumter. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think, man. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, until next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. I know I was all over the place with the video or whatever, man, but look, man. Hey, first off, this Goku's Gym shirt, it is up in the store. It's ready for y'all, man. Y'all go cop that. Cop that right there. I think it's I think it's like 12 bucks or something like that. Y'all go cop that. I'm gonna give y'all a couple of seconds. Go cop that. It's in the store down below. The link is in the description. The first link in the description. It's gonna say. Huh? Oh, and it's a 10% discount right there. Let me show y'all real quick, too, man. Hey, look www.breeze look look at me go to our site www.breezetees.com when you get here it's gonna say save 10 percent get 10 percent off right now drop your email all that you get 10 percent you see the goku's gem shirt in an array of colors you see all the stuff that you can do man this is our site man breeze tees like we got our own own apparel i'm i'm unlike i'm, I'm this is like un, unlike any other youtuber out there i'm doing my own merch so Everything that y'all get is 100% from me, and it's 100% done by me and Bridget, handcrafted here at Breeze T's headquarters. And uh, I'm going to call it y'all next time, man. Y'all take it easy. Godspeed!